Hello, my name is Dario Baker, and I'm going to try to explain how to use Vocal Line Project with Reaper DAW. Vocal, uh, Vocal Line Project is a program that allows you to align dubbed vocals. Uh, first, let's go into the program uh, Reaper. I'm going to play a little bit of a song that I recorded. I actually dubbed this vocal three times for a really nice, strong uh, presence and sound. It sounds pretty good. The person I recorded did a pretty good job at dubbing it, but he's still off a little bit. And if you listen to music uh, as much as I do, you will notice like a lot, like even like some of some of the best people that dub their vocals can be off just a little bit, especially if you're recording a lot of rap music. And he probably could have gotten away with this, like in most songs and stuff. But hip hop is all about timing, and if if your vocals are off just a little bit, a lot of people can notice that, or maybe you would notice it um, unconsciously, and you would be like, "Oh, it's something wrong with the audio," and it could be all because the the dubbed vocal wasn't is 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 not aligned properly. So I'm gonna play a little bit of this song. Uh, well, this is a hook that I recorded, and then I'm going to uh, use vocal line to align the vocals. Uh, try to listen. You ain't from where I'm from, fuck around and get smoked Every nigga with me gon' shoot, no joke My squad, my team, my life, everything that's non-double-O We come from the goal, it's real in the field, everybody tryna score One team, my rep to the dead, my death, that's non-double-O My niggas too real, they non-double-O My homies got killed from non-double-O Just know I'm gon' kill for non-double-O Everybody in the field from non-double-O My niggas too real, they non-double-O my homies got killed from 9 double Just know I'm gon' kill for 9 double Everybody in the field from 9 double Okay, it sounds pretty good, but he's off just a little tiny bit. And what we first, before we can even uh, start to use Vocal Line Project, there's some things that you have to do to the audio files in your DAW, which is, uh, which I'm gonna do is we have to. Uh, to uh, cut out, we have to align them perfectly so that um, when we put them into the vocal line project that um, the vocal line can know which um, which uh, audio slices to put together. So first we're gonna cut like a lot of the dead space at the beginning of this track right here. I mean, and then we're gonna go to the end of the tracks. Like as you can see, they're kind of off a little bit. This can throw, uh, uh, the vocal line pro, um, project program like off a little bit and then your vocals will sound kind of weird so we want to make sure these are aligned like kind of perfectly I'm gonna go all the way to the end right here it, it looks like he's kind of off right I mean he's done right there so we're gonna go to the end yeah it's okay it's perfect and uh, now we're going to try to consolidate the tracks which is um, if you use pro tra uh, pro tools it's called uh, consolidate uh, in Reaper it's called glue um, in order to do that I, I put a little slice in between the tracks so that um, it know it ha it will, it'll have something to consolidate because in its form bef before it's already kind of consolidated so uh, select all the um, the slices then I'll right click on on them and then click on glue tracks so now all the tracks are like perfectly aligned like as one and uh, I usually uh, you have to figure out which guide track that you want to use um, with a vocal line project because see what vocal line project does when you uh, insert a audio file it's gonna um, it needs a file to, to reference in order for it to align um, you could pick any one of these if you like if you think that the your vocalist did pretty well with the With the, one of the backing vocals and you want that to be the guide track you can do that um, I usually just use the first vocal um, The lead vocal as the guide track. So um, what you do is you uh, um, And there's other ways that you can do this, but you got to get that file into the vocal um, vocal line project But this is how I do it. I click on uh, source properties. I uh, copy Because this is the location of the file right here copy close Then uh, go to vocal line project click on open uh, Paste that and it opened it up. So this is the guide track right here right here um, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch them right now to the dub track. So, import the guide track, 
um, when I once I import them, they'll be. I'll just switch it back to the guide. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna click this right here. It's gonna switch spots, and you could use either one, but I want to use the the lead vox that, because it just makes a little bit more sense to me. So um, you can uh, test and see, you know, how how that um, how it would go with these uh, buttons right here. Um, but I usually just uh, press save. When I press save right here, it's gonna ask you what do you want to save it as. Um, and for the purposes of a time, I'm going to just say one. Uh, I've already did this before. That's why it says one right there. So I'm going to save it. But you can rename the file as uh, lead vox aligned uh, for your first one. So I'm going to press save right here. And it aligned the tracks. It totally aligned the tracks real quick, easy, and everything. Uh, and then I go back to the file that I just tried to align, click on choose new file and I'm gonna click on one and now it's aligned now I got to do it again for since I dubbed it three times instead of uh, just twice as some people would do it or if you did it four or five times you got to repeat this process uh, a couple more times so I'm going to the uh, to the third file pressing copy okay I gotta put this in before I'm gonna put this uh, I'm gonna switch place places again put the lead box down at the bottom and I'm going to replace this one right here press open press paste uh, all right and now I'm going to align these again and press this button so I know that this is the guide track and this is the what we're going to align press save it's real easy it's not that much work number two yes all right and then we're gonna open this I just double clicked on that to get to this uh, to this box choose new file to and press OK so now my vocals are properly aligned and I'm gonna play it back and you may not if you can't tell the difference it's cool it may be a little bit subtle but I'm gonna play it back and you can have um, judge for yourself here we go you ain't from where I'm from fuck around and get smoked every nigga with me gonna shoot no joke my squad, my team, my life, everything that's nine double O. We come from the goal, it's real in the field, everybody tryna scope. One team, I rep to the dead, my death, that's nine double O. My niggas too real, they nine double O. My homies got killed from nine double O. Just know I'm gonna kill for nine double O. Everybody in the field from nine double O. My niggas too real, they nine double O. My homies got killed from nine double O. Just know I'm gonna kill for nine double O. Everybody in the field from nine double O. And that's it. I mean, uh, they're perfectly aligned, all the tracks and everything. Um, it sounds a little bit more on point, um, especially like if you were um, recording a lot of uh, other stuff, if you were trying to dub this several times more or even add ad libs like uh, this particular person did. Um, it, it's important to have all your vocals aligned and in time, especially when you're doing rap music or hip hop or anything or any type of music for that matter. Well, I uh, hope this helps. Uh, have a good day. Enjoy.